All right, Shalom to the elect of Israel. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. This is Isaiah from GMS London, England. All right, this lesson, I just want to speak about seeking the Lord, okay? You know, for you Israelites out there, right? The Israelites being the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, according to Bible prophecy, Okay, and our seed that has been scattered throughout the nations okay you know who this word is for who salvation is for okay and that's the thing okay because that's what the scriptures tell you man uh, uh, the book of um, the book of Psalms right the book of Psalms 148 uh, so lucky the, the book of Psalms 147 all right the 147th chapter it tells you he show of his word unto Jacob, okay, and his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. And as for the other nations, he has not dealt so. Okay, now I'm roughly quoting. I don't have the scriptures, you know, in front of me right now, but I'm roughly quoting. Okay, you can, you know, go to the chapters. I quoted the verses. All right. But it says that he show of his word unto Jacob, man, and Jacob is the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, so that's who this word is for, you Israelites. That's who repentance and salvation is for. Okay, the law, statutes, and commandments, all right, the judgments, this word, the prophecies written and contained in the scriptures, that's for the children of Israel. Okay, that's for the Lord's chosen people. So, you know, and that's the good news, man, all right, the gospel, which means good news. Is for is that salvation is for the children of Israel, man. Starting with the elect, the ones that repent, the ones that have an ear to hear. Okay, because we're in the last days. Okay, we're coming to the end of this wicked world and this wicked society and, and this wicked world, meaning the rulership of the wicked, which is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Look around, man. This is his his rulership. This is his kingdom. Okay. You can't say that the so-called white man is not in charge or ruling or have governance over what's going on in the earth right now, okay, on the earth physically, because we understand it's the Lord that gave him the power and gave him the rule for a short time, okay, Job 9 and 24 says the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked and he's covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he, okay, because that's what these, these devils have done, these Edomites through renaissance art iconoclasm all right the destruction of images and, and uh, you know painting you know the dark icons to be looking like edomites all right so-called white people which is all falsehood man that's what they've done they've covered the true judges they, they've told the lies to the world that the lord looks like an edomite which is a, a lie that's blasphemy Okay, the Lord is a so-called black man according to the scriptures. All right, the son of the heavenly father is in the same image. The people of the Lord, okay, the children of Israel and, and the, the people, holy people of the scriptures, the prophets, you know, the apostles, the teachers, the righteous men, you know, there were people of color, so-called black people, man. All right, people of color, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native uh, Americans today. Okay, those are our forefathers. And this Bible is for us, man. Salvation is for us, all right? To be delivered from the hands of our enemies. Like the scriptures tell you, Luke 1 and 68, blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he have visited and redeemed his people. Okay? So the children of Israel is the one who the Lord went on the cross for, okay? To give repentance to Israel. That's what the scriptures tell you. Okay, it didn't say salvation to the whole world. No, it said to the Israelites, man. And why is that? Because the Israelites were scattered amongst the nations. Okay, James 1 and 1 tells you to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. Okay, and we've been in captivity underneath all these nations where we've been scattered, man. Alright, so we need to be delivered 
from these uh, uh, heathens, man, these heathen nations, the ones that don't keep the law, statutes, and commandments, the ones that don't know these judgments, that don't know the word of the Lord, right? Because they're heathens. Okay, they disregard the the, the righteousness of the, of the of the scriptures. Okay, and they think that they're gonna have an everlasting rule. That's crazy, man. All right, the Lord is having these nations above us, ruling us, ruling over us. For a punishment unto us, man, because we broke the commandments of our Lord, man. So we're under punishment. That's why the Lord gave over the rulership into the hands of our enemies. Okay, but that doesn't mean that they're gonna rule forever. Alright, because you got these wicked elites, you know, who's you know pushed all these lies and deceptions in the earth, slanders and lies about the Lord's people, lying about the true image of the Lord. And the, and the true people of the book of the the Bible, the Israelites, they think they're gonna rule forever, man. That's what the scriptures tell you. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations, man. Because that's the pride that they've got, you know. Because they've been ruling for you know this time, man. They don't see themselves going down, but the catch is they they know that the Lord is real. They know that the Lord is coming back. All right, Yahweh Shai, okay? Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is coming to judge the earth for all the wickedness. So that means that these Edomites, they're going to be going down when the Lord returns and judges the earth. All right, and these heathen nations, you know, the ones that also had a hand in our slavery, the hand that, uh, you know, forward in our oppression, you know, the so called Chinese, the so called Arabs, uh, the so called. Um, you know, Indians, you know, East Indians and all of that. You know, these heathen nations, they think they're going to get a chance to rule. But they're going to be uh, going into slavery. Along with Esau. Okay. That's why Psalms 2 and 8 says, Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. And the uttermost parts of the earth for thine possession. All right, and thou shalt uh, uh, break them with a rod of iron and dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel, man. That's what's going to happen to these heathen nations. But right now they're so proud, thinking that they're going to get a leg up, thinking that they're going to get an upper hand, thinking that the Lord's people are going to stay down and oppressed and at the bottom forever. But that's not going to be the case. Okay? Why? Because we see these prophecies rolling, man. The prophecies of the Holy Bible are taking place in the earth as we speak. Okay? Wars and rumors of wars. All right? World War III on the brink. These nations getting ready to go to war, man, and use these nuclear missiles. Okay? The hour of temptation, the MOTB, that implant. All right? That's going to take place before the end destruction, which we can see that's on the doorstep too. They're pushing this MOTB. They're pushing this implant heavy, man. These brain chips. I and all these implants and the 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 um, the um, CBDCs, all right? These um, you know, the, all the things that they're doing with the whole banking system, centralizing things, putting things on on the, the blockchains. What do you think all of this is leading to, man? All right, society becoming more cashless. All right. So we're drawing near to these prophecies being fulfilled, man. Remember the scriptures tell you, our Lord told us. He said, not one, uh, um, not one of these shall fail. These prophecies, they're going to take place, man. Okay? The scriptures tell you that heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Okay? And all things must be fulfilled. So we're getting ready to see some serious times, man. That's why it's the time, like I was in the beginning, I opened up saying... Now's the time to seek the Lord, man, and repent for you Israelites, man. Okay? Isaiah 55 and 6 says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, while he may be found, and call ye upon him while he is near. Okay? Because there's going to come a time when the Lord, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, judges this earth. Okay? When Jacob's trouble is let loose, when all hell is breaking loose, when there's chaos and riots and uprisings and uproars in the streets. When it's no longer business as usual, all right? Because you got a lot of these fucking, you know, idiots out here, all right? Call them what they are, 
All right, these zombies, these brainless, mindless people in a deep sleep. All right, they're all clueless, man. They're walking clueless in the earth and don't know that this earth is getting ready to be turned upside down and turned into hell, you know, and made real ugly overnight, man. The scriptures tell you that, that um, when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come up upon them. That's what's getting ready to happen in this world, man, in this society, and in all these major cities and countries where we're at, okay? You know, the heart of these people are waxing cold, all right? There's more violence, there's more, um, you know, uh, you know, people being cold-hearted, you know, there's more uh, disasters, natural, you know, what they say, natural disasters, earthquakes in diverse places, storms okay all these things are judgments man that the lord is bringing why because it's going to be time soon where all hell and chaos is going to erupt in the earth man best believe that, that that's that's what's on the cards that's what's coming all right a day like never before okay remember uh the scriptures uh amos 5 and 18 says woe unto you that desire the day of the lord for what end is it to you the day of the lord shall be darkness and not light all right very dark and no brightness in it and it says as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him so there's going to be all these types of chaos all this near-death experience all this back-to-back -back life-threatening situations coming at these people man and the only way to be delivered is through Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai being of his elect it don't matter how many push-ups people people have done in their life, man. People could have done all the type of exercise they want, man, which is good. Exercise profits a little bit. The scriptures tell you that, you know. But our trust shouldn't be in these these uh, uh, things that are being carnal. These people with bug out bags and doomsday preppers and, and actually have their hopes and trust in these things. That's not what's going to save anybody. All right, in the long term, okay, because ultimately, how are you going to be delivered from the nuclear missiles? It has to be divine intervention. The Lord has to be with you, it has to be with us. All right, that's why we have to seek the Lord, man, while there's time, because it's going to be a time where the Lord ain't going to be found, man. Like, the mercy of the Lord is not going to be found among these people. The time for getting right, the time for repentance and seeking the Lord is now. All right, while you have the men of the Lord on the highways and byways, while you have the men of the Lord putting up the videos and exhortations and break breakdowns, doing the street teaching and the street ministry, all of that, because that's going to come to a close too. The famine of the word, okay, not uh, you know censorship, not hearing the words of the Lord, man. When all hell's breaking loose in the streets, you think you're going to have the men of the Lord in their garments on the street prophesying? No, that's going to be the time of the end, man, where judgment takes place. All right, and faith is, is gonna be paramount, all right? On top, crucial, essential in that time. Isaiah 33 and six says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation and the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Okay, so we're supposed to understand these things. The word is what's gonna save us and deliver us, man. The word is gonna bring salvation. Okay, understanding the true names of the heavenly father the true name of the Heavenly Father being Yahweh, and the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai. The names we need for salvation, which is important. Okay, but those that aren't seeking the Lord, those that don't know this truth, all right, those that aren't of the Lord's elect, in the end, they're going to be done, man. They're going to see it's too late. It's going to be too late for a lot of people, man. A lot of our people that are taking His word for a joke, that mock and scoff and scorn, they're going to be in the worst situation, man, you know. They think this is a joke now, but the joke's going to be on them. Okay, because the scriptures say, Isaiah, um, Ezekiel 33 and 33, and lo, when this cometh to pass, then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. All right, all these prophecies that we're saying, everything, you know, coming to pass, the martial law, Jacob's trouble, Esau being like a madman, sparing none, coming down with great wrath, FEMA camps, concentration camps. All right, the hour of temptation, people being lined up and implanted guillotines coming out all right Esau showing his horns man 
the devil that he is coming down and, and, and just destroying people. No mercy. All right? And the only way to be delivered is through the Lord, man. Okay? The only thing that's going to keep us stable is his word. All right? And we're close, man. You know? So, Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm going to end it here. I want to say all praises be to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the elect out there, Shalom.